Dr. Vijayalakshmi Balakrishnan from Kaveri Hospitals. So COVID vaccines have come now. We have been waiting for this for a long time. Next, next question everybody asks it. What is this? Do I take it? Is it safe? When can I take it? I'm going to answer all of our questions. So COVID vaccines are vaccines which produce an artificial, artificial infection in you. So for instance, when a virus goes in, the body elicits an immune response. By giving a vaccine, the body elicits an immune response which are actually having the infection. So when the virus goes in, the body fights the virus effectively. Next, who takes it? So anybody, any adult can take it. As of now, the approval has been on about every adult about 18 years of age. But then, the vaccine availability is less, our capacity to produce is less. So we are just giving it to people who require it the most. Who are the ones who require it more? Frontline workers, doctors, nurses, housekeeping staff, sanitary workers, police force. Those people will get it initially. Followed by the vulnerable group. Who are the vulnerable group? Patients who have heart problem, kidney problem, liver problem, stroke, heart attacks, any kind of infections, cancer survivors, those people who get it next. Then people above 50 years of age, finally general population. We are facing it out this way so that the vulnerable have access to it more and subsequently we all develop herd immunity. Next, am I safe? Can I take the vaccine? I've taken the vaccine and survived. These vaccines have gone through stringent safety protocols. So all those things which come out in media is not something which they understand and do. So before a vaccine comes out, there will be some kind of animal studies and then research protocols will be stringently followed. Then we have phase 1, phase 2, phase 3 human trials. So by phase 1 and phase 2 human trials, the safety will be established very well. The efficacy, they have a reliable or reasonable judgment of the efficacy. And phase 3 trial is more to see for remote complications and efficacy percentage. So these vaccines are given emergency approval just because we need it immediately. India is just about curbing this infection. We don't want another wave like it is happening in UK and US. We are seeing scores of people lying dying there. We don't want that to happen. That's the reason we should all take the vaccine now. These vaccines are very very safe. Like the other usual vaccines, you can have mild fever or some kind of body pains, feverish sensation, some kind of throat pain, bell eye, some loose tools, everything will settle down in a day or two. These are all expected after usual vaccinations. Most of us get it after DPT or influenza shot. That is a maximum people get it. And then you develop immunity. Immunity does not happen immediately. So you need to take two shots and it takes at least two weeks after the second shot. So till then, you will have to make sure to protect it. And remember, none of the vaccines are 100% efficacious. Not just this, any vaccine in the world. So there will be people who may not have the immunity against the virus. So you will always have to wear a mask. Because you cannot be sure whether you have the immunity or not. So wearing mask, social distancing, taking universal precautions is mandatory even after vaccination. But the chance of you getting the infection goes down. And when a lot of people get it, the herd immunity builds. Once the herd immunity builds, the chance of people getting it becomes even lower. Take care. Thank you.